This is the second annual Nigeria Food Processing and Nutrition Leadership Forum, and the subject of conversation is sustaining momentum and action on food fortification and taking a look at the progress made from 18 months ago when the first meeting was held. The event provided a platform where leading CEOs engaged with key stakeholders in continuing the dialogue to a sustainable resolution of shared challenges and advancing collective priorities directly with government and other partners. Last year, we were at uh, uh, 50%, and uh, you know, from last year to now, we've reached 75%. So the compliance rate has actually gone up. And a lot of the big companies, you know, they are all fully, fully compliant. So right now what is happening is that we now have uh, asked the three agencies, I mean especially NAVDAC and SON, to make sure that they drill down to the smaller companies so that once they get some of them, then the compliance rate will be able to reach up to about 90% before we meet next year. So this is like the second time that we're meeting, and I hope uh, you know, we'll be able to meet up the 90% of fortification by next year. Well, you know, man, you have all taken up commitments. All of us have actually committed to doing that. It is not even only the government agencies that are driving the, uh, you know, the, well, they have the policy, but we, the private sector, are the ones that are fully, fully committed and we're the ones driving the uh, process. So I'm 100% sure that we will achieve something like about 90% of compliance. NAVDAC's mandate is to control the manufacture, uh, the distribution, the sale and use of all food. However, for all imported foods is NAVDAC's mandate. Uh, when an applicant submits application to register a food product in Nigeria, before we continue the processing of the application, we go to the country to make sure that what they said they have in the application is actually what is there, including the components of the food. If there is no good manufacturing practice there, if we cannot see compliance, we will not approve them. So all foods coming in through the legal route NAVDAC's mandate is to control the quality to ensure that we have wholesome foods coming in. Uh, an opportunity for producers and uh, manufacturers of uh, food products to also be reminded of the uh, need to fortify food and uh, to compare themselves with what uh, situation they were in last year, where they have moved now from 50% to 75% compliance. Uh, they also use the opportunity to pledge that there will be up to 90% compliance with food education by next year. While acknowledging few challenges, stakeholders agree that compliance level has gone from 50% to 75% and hoping that by 2020, during another review meeting, 90% is feasible. What we did was uh, we knew that compliance level had been suboptimal for a while. We will partner with TechnoServe to see how can we bring in the CEOs that command over 70% of the market share for the major staple crops that needs to be fortified to ensure that uh, we raise up the level of compliance to the level that Nigerians can get the benefit of fortification. Data actually shows that countries lose up to 11% of their GDP as a result of malnutrition. We know that by 2050, Nigeria will be the, most, the third most populous country in the world. And that means that we need to begin to prepare to build a country that will, that will consist of healthy and productive people. Moving forward, it is expected that this conversation will not only foster more partnerships, but reinforce food fortification in Nigeria. For Plus TV Africa, Amaka Okoye.